welcome back so um as you can tell by the title of this video this is going to be a beauty haul or basically boots and two things from Topshop and as you can tell it's payday so I went on a mad one as usual although I haven't actually been on a boots rampage in like a little while so um I thought I'd spend my money there which I did Ooh. Anyway, so I also did some other shopping, like got a few midi skirts and um, necklaces and things like that. So if you want to see what that's all about, then comment below and I'll try and muscle you up another video. So I'll get started. The first product I got was a new product by Vaseline called Spray and Go Mop Body Moisturiser. Um, I got the Aloe Fresh one because I just think it smelled really nice and this um, kind of just like appealed to me because it's just so lazy and basically um, you spray it onto your skin instead of like using a pump or a squeezy bottle and it um, you know obviously you moisturize it into your skin it's not like it doesn't do all that but um, it moisturizes in seconds so you can put your clothes on um, they have the cocoa radiant version of this which is the same one the same scent as that gel oil weird thing that I had mentioned in my disappointing products so I strayed away from that one but I got this one because I just thought it smelled really nice and yeah so you kind of just like squirt it out onto your hand and then just rub it it's really lightweight and I think this is really going to be really good for oh it smells really nice for the sunburn that I have on my shoulders um so I'm looking forward to using this and I might keep it in the fridge just so it adds the extra sort of um, soothingness to my skin but I thought that was kind of cool a bit gimmicky but you know I thought why not the next thing that I got was um, from L'Oreal and I'm a big fan of Bioderma I've just finished my second bottle and I just because it's so like you've got to like source it out like it's not just you can just walk into boots and pick it up it's so annoying um, so I thought I'll try something different and um, my friend recommended this and it's the Skin Perfection 3-in-1 Purifying Micellar Solution and this is a 200ml and it's to dissolve makeup, unclog pores and remove impurities and tone and soothe the skin. So you can use it on everywhere of the whole of your face. Um, so she said this is quite good so I'm looking forward to using this and see how it works and getting my mascara off. So if it's cheaper than um, Bioderma then I'll, I'll probably might just stick with this. We'll see how I go. The next thing I got was a repurchase and it's the Avene Extremely Gentle Cleanser which I got before and I seem to have lost my bottle of it for some reason um, but it was nearly empty anyway and this is just a really nice um, quick cleanser, it doesn't have any scent to it, it's good for um, you know sensitive and irritated skin and I just think it's just nice so <laughs> I've got a little review of that on my blog and I'll link that below. Also from Avene, I, I'm kind of like in two minds over the whole thermal water spray situation and I just like, do they really do anything? Like, I don't know. So, you know, my little intrigue inside me, just a little um, travel size bottle and I think it was like £3 or something like that. So I thought I'd try it and see if it really made a difference but I think it might be nice because it's summer and it's a lot hotter to just you know spray on my face and we'll see how we go on then I got um, a product from La Roche-Posay it's from the Effaclar range and it's the micro exfoliant lotion thing <laughs> basically it was blue so I got it um, but it's kind of like a bit like a toner um, and it's just like an exfoliant toner so it gives you that soft um, gentle exfoliation to the skin and it's a 200ml and it's paraben free and it's to tighten and help unblock pores so I thought this was quite good just to try out keeping with skincare um, the boots that I go to doesn't actually stock Origins but they did have a stand of uh, the following product and as soon as I saw it I literally just grabbed it and put it straight in my basket um, and it's the Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturiser. Yeah, so this is um, a recent release from Origins and the packaging itself is gorgeous and I've seen quite a good amount of reviews on this saying it's just really nice 
um, energy boosting, radiant kind of moisturiser but it's quite light as well so I think it's perfect for this time of year and it smells of oranges which makes me very excited um, and like basically all Origins products just smell absolutely amazeballs so that just alone sells it to me but I think I really like this um, so I'm quite excited to try it. Another repurchase and it's the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Natural Bronze Body Lotion. Um, I've raved about this quite a bit, I'm not really one for gradual tanners, I find that they often go like yellowy, sort of streaky on me but this is incredible and I think it's amazing the fact that I've had to repurchase it and it was half price, so it was like £2 something um, for a really good 250ml and the other one lasted me quite a while as well so I'll link a review of this below but I think it's amazing. The next thing I got was probably an unnecessary purchase but it's the Sesha V Dry Fast Top Coat and um, I had a little mini um, nail zinc caviar one and I couldn't find it anywhere and since I've come home I've found it which is you know sods law really um, but I've heard really good things about this Top Coat and um, yeah I just thought I'd pick it up because it was like cheaper than the OPI one. <laughs> Then I went to Bourge, the bourgeois sort of stand bit and they had three for two on so I took advantage of that obviously and I got two of their new colour boost glossy finish lipsticks and the first one I got is called Peach on the Beach which is this one here and it's just a really nice peachy pinky shade and then I also got Orange Punch which I'd say is a more orangey sort of corally shade um, so I'm quite excited to try this I swatched them on my hand well I swatched all four and decided on these two for now um, and I just thought they were really nice seemed really nicely pigmented and creamy and just generally really nice so I'm looking forward to trying those out and then the last thing I got from Bourjois was their bronzing primer um, which people say is like the um, Chanel Bronze Universal or Soleil de Tan whatever it wants to be called these days um, and um, it's kind of got a similarity um, not so much in the consistency but kind of what it does and it's just like um, a cream bronzer um, so I'm quite excited to try that it was quite expensive for Bourjois, it was like £10 for this tiny little thing but if it works and it's as good as a Chanel one then I can't really complain can I? and the last thing that I got was another Maybelline mascara I seem to be getting these all the time and it's the uh, Rocket Volume one and um, I've heard really good things about this I am um, quite like um, the um, Mega Plush one but I think the brush is just really weird shape and I really like the falsies so I thought why not try another one they just seem to be hitting the nail on the head with those and then the last two products I got were from Topshop and there were two lip crayons um, the first one I got was called On The Cards, which is a pink shade, um, like fuchsia bright pink. Then the next one I got was um, Wave Goodbye, which I'd say is more of a nudie pink shade. Um, so I'm quite excited to try those out as well. And yeah, that's everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. Um, you guys have been leaving some really, really sweet, lovely comments. And my like my subscribers has like gone up quite a bit as well which makes me so happy and um yeah I just think it's amazing when you get such lovely feedback from people it means so much um anyway I yeah like I say hope you enjoyed and all that shebang um yeah so like comment all that stuff and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon bye